What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. Sure, I'm talking about Jordan Peele's Nope. The trailer for it came out earlier this morning. I think there's supposed to be something for it still happening tonight at the Super Bowl. But I just want to jump in and talk about the trailer and share my thoughts on it and talk about what I think is going down in the movie. So the trailer for the most part was pretty cool. I was on the edge, did not know what I was really looking at. Still don't understand where we're going with this because I like how this trailer was constructed. I like that we didn't have, by the end of it, I still don't have an idea as to what really is going to happen one way or another. It could go many different ways. We didn't even get character names from what I've understood. We do know that they're involved with, this will be Daniel Kaluuya's character and Kiki Palmer. They seem to be related have some ties in Hollywood as it relates to running a horse ranch being used in movies I assume because 3C actually pointed this out at one point in the trailer 3C films that being at one point in the trailer we see Daniel Kaluuya's character wearing what looks like a Scorpion King hoodie uh so some ties there i guess that would tell us this set in the early 2000s and then also the fact that they're using a flip phone but then again you know people still are walking around in these these times using flip phones so who knows <laughs> but it looks like for the most part we are going to get a alien invasion based horror movie from jordan peele but the thing about it is i don't know how many things he's drawn inspiration from when it comes to what we're getting with this movie titled nope the trailer overall for the most part again had me on the edge uh i was loving what we were seeing from kiki and daniel it's also very exciting to have, know that daniel and jordan have come together to make another movie again since him and jordan worked together on get out which you know was the, the movie that brought a lot of attention to the name of jordan peele since his time from key and peel which he, he was mostly known for at the time before he started breaking out and doing all these unique horror films so the most interesting thing that i saw in the trailer would be the the alien stuff and the fact that it seems that either one of these two things is going to happen either the aliens come and they are now having products sold as it relates to the aliens because i think i see that somewhere in the trailer or again i don't know how many other things he's taken inspiration from when it relates to these aliens i do need to shout out uh c-man and i'll actually leave a link to your video in the description who did a great job at pointing out that this movie could be a complete adaptation of a twilight zone episode since we know that jordan peele is involved with the twilight zone the recent revival of it and that that original episode from many years ago was titled the monsters are due on maple street i believe he did a great video talking about that so i'll leave a link to it in the description basically in the mo the monsters are due on april street maple street you have this you have this good looking suburban town uh everybody seems to be very nice friendly on the surface as any town these days would be or i would hope but then stuff starts happening you have stuff like like what like what you see in the trailer the power starts going out people's cars won't work uh, a lot of stuff that relates to everyday life activities just are not working for most people but then some people in the community are able to use their car they're able to do all these other things that other people are not being able to to do so then that's where we have this issue of people's paranoia and their fear getting the best of them and turning them into monsters they're all pointing fingers at each other and you know first these these accusations that start off as just that accusations about somebody being an alien or they're working for the enemy they start turning into personal attacks they start turning into physical altercations it ends in just mayhem because humans allowed their fear to overcome them so badly that they didn't know how to act rationally anymore in in desperate in in desperate times i'll say they, they're acting completely out of line in the times that they're in at, at a time where they should be coming together they're tearing each other's heads off so i think you have some inspiration there clearly as i see in the trailer i think but also i know i've seen some stuff online about alien activity and this is just a conspiracy theory at this point i'm curious if he's drawn inspiration from this conspiracy theory that there's some type of alien base going on in dulce new mexico or some alien base located underground in dulce new mexico i believe where apparently they think that there's some type of hybrids or stuff going on where they're mixing aliens with different breeds of life like humans or maybe even animals as you see in the trailer because i know 3c also brought this up in his video the idea that maybe you have aliens using horses and turning them into human life or just turning them into into something that resembles a human like a hybrid and 
that's another interesting thing. Could he be drawing inspiration from the conspiracy that there's an alien base located in Dulce, New Mexico, somewhere underground with a lot of weird experiments going on? And the, also the idea that these aliens have been here amongst us for some time. And at the end of the day, that's what that's what is going to be the big twist at the end of the movie. But the big message, it seems, it really does seem like it's coming mostly from if he is drawing inspiration from the monsters are due on Maple Street, it would be that humans have a tendency to overreact in, in desperate times. Not to say that you don't have grounds to be upset, but when but when you start attacking each other and just start being so hateful and nasty to each other and then you want to harm each other, you're doing more damage in this situation than than what you're trying to actually have happen, which is you want the situation to be resolved. You're not resolving the situation. You're making it worse. You're exacerbating it because you're doing things based off of your own beliefs and you have no proof of these things. You're accusing someone of being an alien in this case. But you don't have any proof. You're just going off of what you believe. So then that turns this desperate situation into something more, much more severe when people start dying at your hands and not aliens. So you're supposed to be afraid of these aliens. But from what we're seeing in the audience when we watch this movie, maybe we should be afraid of you. Like maybe this is just a big message about humans taking a step back, looking themselves in the mirror and understanding that we all have flaws. And we all need to learn how to cope with certain things better instead of turning on each other when we need to be armed. We need to be holding each other's hands in certain situations. But in certain certain situations, like I could use what we're dealing with right now, having dealing with it for the past two years, where you have people just acting all wild, obnoxious. Everyone's so nasty and hateful to each other when you should be coming together and trying to find a solution. Yes, there's solutions out there. Some people don't like that solution. Other people do. But still, you just have people being so nasty and hateful. And I'm sure he'll have some racial commentary in it. But I think most of it is going to have to do with humans being inhumane to each other in desperate times. But let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications and miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there. Of course, let me know any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.